welcome back to my channel. We're doing a, a review on the Sunshield, given us to uh, sent to us from the nice guys from Gear UAV. I'll put all the details in below as well where you can actually purchase this from. When he asked me about doing it, I got a sunshield already for my tablet, and it's not fantastic. Sun still gets on it, still becomes very glary. So when he said about it, I looked at it and I thought, yes, let's definitely do this one. So really nice. So here today we're actually at um, Deep Cut, where I normally uh, sometimes do some flying with Paul Deitch. And I also, we've also got the boys here. You can get me in first. Hi. There's Bailey, and we get round, and there's Noah. Hi. So they're going to actually help me with the video. So I'm going to do the filming because um, they're okay, but they end up being a bit chopsy, cut my head off on the video and stuff. So I'll be filming and commentary on that while they actually demo how the sun shield looks and we'll get a close look up at it. So are you ready, boys? Yes. Here we go. Right, Noah's demonstrating the actual cover that I normally use and it's a cloth-based cover. And as you can see, it's been packed in my bag and it's quite, it's how, it took about 10 minutes to get on because it folds and then because the folds are now sort of sticking down, it's now very difficult to unfold it. And you can see the sides of the covers here are actually sort of stuck inwards. And as you can see, it's, you can't see too much of the screen. And obviously the sun still glares very much from behind on the screen. So you have to then really get your head inside. So if you move your head a bit more towards inside Noah, then you have to be sort of really close like that and keeping the sun in front of you rather than behind you then that way you can sort of just still quite see it and it's been quite disappointing um, sun shield I've had so now when Gear UAV said do you want to try this this one out I said oh definitely so uh, so that's the one I currently use as Noah's nicely modelling for us okay and then this is the one Bailey's showing here that's from UAV so Gear UAV so we're going to actually get that installed and we'll show how nice and easy it is to install. Um, yeah, this is this comes in. Um, it's a sort of like I don't know, sort of like a rubbery plastic sort of thing. It comes in like a, a form like that, and uh, it's quite nice. You have to learn the fold. The fold's quite easy once you get to do it. So we'll try this again. Um, so you just fold inwards, and you just go with the fold. It slowly makes the shape that you want, and then then there's like magnets in it. It magnetizes. So that's now magnetized together. And then what you do is then you take your iPad. And you can slide it into the bottom here. So it fits nice and snug in like so. And you bring that one up and you cross the, the, the two flaps over there and it's magnetised. So and that's and that's it inside there really nicely. So the iPad's in this. You can use it like this, um, which is great. Um, but you can extend it further so you can get more, more of the sun out. So this is the first part of it. So underneath here you've got a little mesh here. Then you can stick your fingers in there and you can then do your touch your iPad and controls and stuff. So you don't have to put your hand inside, so it's nice and easy. And then it obviously it then keeps the sun out. You've got side ports here and a little side gap here as well to plug into your iPad. And then you just stitch these, you've got straps at the bottom there, that are Velcroed, to take them off, and they actually strap around your controller. Um, so it keeps it connected on there. So not only you've got the clamp there, you've also got the Velcros underneath keeping it on there. So it doesn't actually fall off. Even with the, without the clamp on it, it, it should stop it from actually falling off anyway, like so. So we'll just get that clamp down. So just so it's, again, it's quite quite an easy fold, straight on, nice and easy. And there you have have it, and you can then see the actual um, iPad at the bottom there. And then, and if you you can when your head's in there, you can see the iPad quite well, but you still get some of the sun coming this side here. So this is when they got the second part, which all comes together as one. It's got a, a ridge bit there for your forehead and you've got a nose cut out bit there for your nose. And again, you just pull that off, it's one, one straight bit, and it literally just goes on and literally taps around nicely. And then gives you a full, like, submersion. Now I can actually put my head down in the middle, right there, and I can actually completely seal off the sun. And I've got a full view of the iPad and it's really nice and bright. And this is fantastic. So for days like this, it's really, really sunny. This is brilliant, it's lightweight. So holding on to that and around my nose, I can see it, I can fly it, I can still look up, see where it is in the air. So I've still got full line of sight, back down there and get the shot. And so easy to install and it's easy to take apart as well. Take that off, stick with that if you wanted to, or you can put that back on again. Snaps into play, nice. <laughs> then you can move it down a little bit as well, but you're then restricting, so you don't want it completely up, no, it just goes, you can't move it down, it's just all the way up like that. But that's perfect, 
have a shot. So we're going to get Noah to model it and see, um, and then we're going to do a test flight with the Phantom 4 to see how it really is um, out in the field working with Gavir Go. So there we have it. So that's Noah doing a nice modelling of what it looks like when he actually got the um, got it all on your controller and your tablets in there. How bright does it look, Noah? Very bright. Yeah, so you can see everything. No sun at all. No sun. So it completely blocks out and looks awesome. So let's uh, we'll get the Phantom in the air and we'll try live video. Bay, Bay is going to demonstrate how to calibrate this very quickly. So if we pick it up, so ready to calibrate, Noah? So yeah. 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 Keep it nice straight. Slowly turn left. Slowly. Slowly. Not too fast. And stop. Good to go, yeah. yeah. Right, and then, then now face it downwards, Bailey. And then turn around slowly. 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 Don't do it too fast. And stop. Are we good? Okay, now put, put that back and down on the floor. That's calibration done. So how, how was it viewing there? Nice and clear? Yeah. See everything? Yeah. Fantastic. So that's what it looks like down there, but it's very difficult because as we need to seal the sun off from the side here, but um, it's difficult to sort of do it when Noah's got his chops in there as well. But, um, but if he takes his chops out, we get all the sun on it. But that gives you a rough idea how dark it can be down there and there's a little sun. By the time Noah gets his head on there, the sun is completely blocked out and you've got a perfect view of your iPad. Fantastic. Now his nose uh, just taking it off now, so he's got a nice and ho nice hover there, and uh, got a good view there, Noah. Yeah. So uh, looks great. So he's enjoying himself, and you can see like on on here, fully submerged in there, so no light can get in, and you can see the iPad. And you've got the cable there as well, comes through nicely, it looks great. There we go, so take it away Noah.